Hello everyone, this is my take on the famous diode ladder voltage control filter designed by Moritz Klein. It is a modern classic already, and I built it because I really love the simplicity of the design, the use of standard components that are available everywhere, and also that it sounds really great, I think. I have based this module on the schematic sketches that Moritz made for his VCF series on YouTube, but in my case I only implemented a low pass filter mode. Let's have a quick look at the schematic diagram. In the center we have a diode ladder and biasing network with the two op amps at top and bottom, followed by a buffer stage and the resonance feedback path. On the left side we have the inputs with the audio input and frequency cutoff control knob. CV1 input has an attenuator knob to control the amount and CV2 input has an antenneverter to make it possible to invert the signal as well as controlling the amount of modulation. To improve the performance of the filter, one approach is to use a matched set of diodes and high-grade foil capacitors in the ladder. But since I prefer to use SMT components, I used NP0 ceramic caps. And before you ask, no, I did not match the diodes. I made the first quick PCB design as a proof of concept, just to check if standard SMT components would do the work or not. And to be honest, I didn't spend a lot of time on the panel layout, so I decided to rework the PCB completely. The design itself is made on a single PCB with 6 HP width. I used my usual build-up style with all SMT components on one side and the pots and jacks on the other side. Alright, it's time to build this bad boy. Soldering SMT can be a bit challenging, especially the small SOD323 diodes. Unless you have a 10 out of 10 eyesight, you will probably need a magnifying lamp or a headband with magnifying glasses. For me, the best solution is using a microscope, but you can also use the camera in your mobile phone if you mount it on a stand and have good lighting conditions. So, after soldering all the surface mount components, I clean the PCB with IPA or rubbing alcohol. And I use an old electric toothbrush to remove all flux from the board. And after that, it's time to mount all the through hole components and do the final assembly of the module. A quick check of the power rails and that the power consumption is within reasonable limits, we are ready to take this module for a test spin. First of all, let's make a filter sweep using a sawtooth as an input signal. And we can connect an LFO to the first CV input to automate the sweep.
The second demo is a little bit more involved. Here I have the oscillator connected to the bass body to provide a simple bass line. And the filter and the VCA are controlled using an envelope generator. Here I use two filters that are connected in the right and left channel signal path. By connecting another LFO to the second CV input and setting the attenuator in opposite positions on the two filters, I can get a panning stereo effect. Alright, that's it for today. The schematic diagram, Gerber files and the bomb can be found on my GitHub as usual. And uh, I will not sell this module in my Tinder shop because it's not my own design. So with that I want to thank you for watching and I see you soon again. Goodbye.